Hi, my name is Kristen Burnham Johnson, and I'm a senior research scientist at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. For this recording, I want to discuss details about our M system manuscript from plants to ants, fungal modification of leaf lipids for nutrition and communication in the leaf cutter ant fungal garden ecosystem. So here we studied how lipid levels spatially and temporally change as leaves are deconstructed in the leaf cutter ant fungal garden ecosystem. So why is this important? Well, ecosystems, even at small scales, reveal secrets about how things survive, how things thrive, and how things die. The coexistence of the leafcutter ant and fungi has long been considered successful. We want to know how and why they coexist and see if we can replicate it for other purposes. Uh, these other purposes can be uh, the protection of valuable compounds from plant biomass. The lipids in particular tell us about the energy transfer and interkingdom communications, and that was a focus point of this manuscript. In the leaf cutter ant fungal garden ecosystem, leaves are fed to the fungal garden by ants, fungi digest plant material and produce gongolidia, which are microscopic hyphae. Then the ants consume the gongolidia, which is enriched with converted energy and nutrients from the plants. So this is a codependency that works extremely well. The instrumentation and techniques we used in the study combine liquid chromatography, ion mobility spectrometry, and tandem mass spectrometry, which allowed us to evaluate differences between the molecular speciation of lipids across the heterogeneous leaf cutter ant fungal garden ecosystem. So what were our findings? Well, we found that lipids containing alpha linolenic acid, which is a fatty acid with 18 carbons and three double bonds, were enriched in leaves in the top of the gardens. And gongolidia were dominated by lipids containing linolenic acid, which is a fatty acid with 18 carbons and two double bonds. And then as a secondary behavioral experiment, we showed that the ants had aggression toward alpha linolenic acid, which is also a precursor for plant defense signaling molecule, uh, jasmonic acid. In contrast, linolic acid attracted ants. So by restricting the enrichment of linolic acid to the gongolidia, the fungus can focus the ants' consumption on these specialized nutrient-rich structures. So this communication from the fungus to the ants is vital for maintaining fungal fitness and for maintaining this mutualism in this complex ecosystem.